What up guys, it's Mike. It's just Mina. It's Jen. You guys, <laughs> I can't even ask you guys this because none of you neither, none of you have ever married. experienced, well, <laughs> you never even experienced a breakup before, right? Breakups are hard. Like, it's, it's very difficult. It's, uh, especially I feel like your first ever relationship when you break up, it's, it's, it's extremely, extremely, extremely sad. Um, and people deal with it different ways. Like, I remember my first breakup. breakup. I dealt with it by eating a lot of food. I drowned my that. sorrows in food because I didn't drink, so I drowned my sorrows in, in like, you know, quesadillas <laughs> and other Chinese cuisine stuff. Obviously, I've never been married, and I don't know what it's like to be divorced. Hopefully, I never get to experience that, but I understand that's, that's even, you know, that's obviously way, way more difficult than just breaking up from a uh, from boyfriend-girlfriend. So, the, there are women in China who are using a very unique way, to, mechanism to cope with this. They're laying in shallow graves. Yeah, they're laying in these tombs to meditate. Kind of just like closing their eyes, thinking about what they've done. Apparently the founder of this said that th this helps because they, they can kind of pretend they, they're dying or, or dead. So if they pretend to die, they can pretty much feel like, oh, I'm about to die, so what do I have left in my life that I feel like I should keep living for? Uh -huh. That kind of feeling, and I guess that helps them recover. Anyone else feels this is kind of like extremely terrifying? <laughs> like, like, I mean, why don't they... I feel like it would be better if they went to a temple to meditate because in the graveyard, it, I mean, it's terrifying. They said like this is to prevent them from thinking that failure is scary, but I just feel like it doesn't, I don't know if it works. People grieve in different ways and different things work for different people. So so I, I want to do say that if this works for them, great. I, I, I mean, depression is a horrible thing. Yeah. Uh, getting yeah. more breakup, like this is, this is all very, these are horrible, uh, things in life that, that most of us we have to experience so whatever way that helps you whether that's food i don't know whatever that, then great that helps you i just feel like this whole thing it, it just kind of it just kind of terrifying because one of my biggest fears is uh, actually getting buried alive that's just like my worst fear you can't move you just you're just like laying there and then and then you know you die that way i mean i don't understand it I'm glad it works for them, but personally, I don't understand why laying in a in a shallow grave over plastic because you don't want to get your shirt dirty, mm -hmm. and, and praying or meditating it's it's really helpful. I feel like it's it's more about the group itself. This is my I'm trying to be a little little psychiatrist here. I I, I might be completely off, but looking at the pictures, I feel like. I feel like they're kind of getting over things. Misery loves company and they found a lot of company here. And that's what I'm thinking is, is really helping them and not just like, because I cannot fathom one of these singular uh, women going to their backyard, digging up a grave, laying down alone and, me and meditating and thinking that's like gonna help them. So I really feel like it's they're, they're talking about their stuff together and that's what's really, really the, the, the medicine here and not, not the laying down and, uh, and pretending you're dead thing. They're bonding, they have their arms around each other, like they, they, they're a group. So I feel like that's what's the cure right there. And that's, can I, can I just say something? And this is kind of a, a, a little, little off topic, but not really. I've been uh, watching and seeing a lot of uh, videos and, and people, vloggers talking about going through depression. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys ever went through like really horrible depression before, but you're young, like, you know, I don't know. Uh, hopefully you haven't. Depression, obviously it doesn't, it's, it's, there's no age limit. You could be really young or you could be really old. Anybody could suffer from depression. I just want to say like, I, 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 you know, I experienced it in terms of myself and also those around me. I even had a friend, a very, very close friend who suffered from depression so much that he actually committed suicide. I know a lot of you guys out there might be um, I'd be going through this because, like I said, it doesn't discriminate. It could be anybody. Uh, even though you might seem really happy on the outside, people might look at you and think your life is, is, is very great and, and you're living the dream. But nobody knows what people will really feel like inside. And that's why these things, like we didn't know Robin Williams was like, we see Robin Williams, hey, he's a funny guy. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a Hollywood actor, like what's, what could be wrong? But we don't know. So you need to talk to people, you need to tell somebody, you need to not just hold it in to yourself because that just that's just really, really unhealthy. Regardless of how you want to deal with it, I feel like whatever you want to do, you need to incorporate other people um, as part of that therapy. You need to tell somebody, you need to find somebody. I mean, sometimes we do feel like there's nobody we can tell in life, there's nobody we're close to, but anybody, let it out. I feel like really the demon is inside of us and can really kind of eat us um, from the inside if we just keep it all to ourselves. And nobody's that strong. Nobody's like that strong where we can just kind of like, yeah, I can absorb all this by myself. Everybody needs an outlet. So that's what I feel like these women really found here. 
So the, you guys who are suffering, I know there's, there, there's, there, there are people watching this video right now who are going through this. So talk to somebody, tell somebody, like, I don't know. This is also why I feel like YouTubers are making videos about this topic is not only are they spreading awareness about, you know, this, this is a serious thing, but also I feel like it is therapeutic for, for them, for us to, to talk about it, even to the camera, even mm -hmm. to the, the digital viewers and people who we might not know in real life. It still helps because just saying it out loud and have maybe have someone hear you and be able to give you some feedback or console you a little bit. It's, it's, it helps. It's, it's a monumental thing to, to have that, you know, to, to help you deal with that, whatever you're going through. So yeah, a really serious thing. Maybe we'll, we'll try to make a whole video about that later, but this kind of just reminded me of that. Uh, anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts on this whole therapy, grave therapy thing in the comments. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.